Hey guys, so I want to do a video going over my passes for the half guard or the coyote guard. It's basically where the guy wraps around your back with his arm. It's like one of the most calming guards in jiu-jitsu and can be really, really frustrating if you don't know how to deal with it. Before I get into the video, if you guys haven't done it already, click the bell button so you get notifications when I come out with my new videos. All right, let's go. So um, this position can occur a lot of different ways. Sometimes you just go in for a knee cut, you set it up from daily Hevo or whatever. The guy starts to hug your back, okay? And there's two aspects of defending this. I'm gonna show like what I would call the early stage first, which is uh, using the back here. And then I'm gonna show what to do if the guy gets really, really deep on it, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is as the guy starts trying to swipe on my back here, what he wants to do is to like grab my hip or my back. Some guys will even uh, grab like the uh, hip material here with this hand. You can see that they start to work this. Some guys will try to work this underhook too. Usually I can keep that back, so I'm gonna have my left leg back. So the first thing I wanna do is before he gets really deep, is as I feel him starting to swipe up, I'm gonna grab this material on his mid back here, like this, right? And I wanna stiff arm on this, okay? It's almost like I'm balancing off of this with my palm. I put my left hand on the floor and I wanna have this left leg kind of back, right? If, I, if I'm too close, he can start underhooking and it starts to get way more nasty, okay? So we're here, we're gonna stiff arm. And now what I do with this left hand on the floor is I'm gonna kinda of come up on my right leg, come around here and look at this. I'm gonna draw my right leg back. You go over here, Mark. Okay, I'm gonna draw my right leg back and come up on my toes. And this allows me to angle my knee to go into his hip. And I start centering him up. Once I center him up here, now if he stays on the script, it's really easy to dig an underhook, grab through, and now I can start cutting. There's a lot of different finish mechanics. I can pull the sleeve up and kick through. Sometimes I can go down and get my shoulder on the jaw and pressure my way through. The main thing is just that when you're here and you come in and you start feeling the guy going for this, stiff arm the back quick here. Immediately put all your weight, don't bend because it can come up, right? I put all my weight balanced on this hand. You can come around here, right? I put all my weight on this hand. I keep this left leg back. I draw my right leg up, turn it to the chest, center back up. Another thing you can do here is sometimes this lapel will, cut, will be out in the middle of the match and I'll just use the back of this lapel like this. The benefit with this one is sometimes when I center up, I can now keep this lapel, slide my hand up a little bit if I need, and I circle my elbow in front. So now it's impossible for him to try to re-pummel, right? Sometimes when you dig the underhook as you go, he tries to re-pummel, right? But if you can center up, he can't come up because he's pinned with my knee. Now I drop my elbow, pin it, grab the sleeve, come through and kick this out, okay? This centering mechanic is a very common theme when you're doing knee cut passes in general. So uh, it's very, very important for fighting any form of single leg half guard type thing, okay? So now uh, let's talk about what to do if the guy gets really deep on the position, okay? So what's gonna happen here, let's turn this way a little bit, is now the guy starts to get way deep on your back here, okay? So he's even on your hip. At this point, trying to fight here is not gonna work. Uh, a lot of people will try to back step, but guys who know this game well on bottom, when you try to back step, they'll catch your leg and they start turning this into like a back take here. And th this is a really dangerous guard because not only do you have to worry about the sweep, but if you get swept here, often like you'll give up your back or a pass. So it's very dangerous, right? So if I, if I go here and I feel like he's already got that, again, I'll show it from a different angle in a second. I'm gonna keep my left leg back and my right hand, I'm gonna come and grab this back pant leg, okay? What this does is this is like a very good last second, last stage grip. Uh, usually I'll try to get this in maybe even a little bit earlier, but like worst case, I'll try to get the leg or something, but you'll usually be able to get this as he's digging to the back. So get the back grip good, right? So he gets here. I'm gonna elevate and start standing up here. So he starts trying to come up on his elbow here. He can't because I'm elevating this leg. Okay, so you keep coming up like you're gonna stand up on it. Like keep coming up. Yeah, see, it's very hard for him to come up. And now I can turn my knee back into his hip again set him down, even work back to this, and now I can start redigging and going here, okay? This is a huge game saver, okay? This position is very, very difficult. If you don't have this kind of like, almost like you're pulling up a suitcase grip, it's very, very difficult to deal with, okay? We'll look at that from another angle, right? So I might be in here. The guy starts trying to go in on the back like this. I go here, I get this back pant grip here. He starts trying to come up on his elbow, right? I start going like this. See, I elevate and I turn and follow. Go around that way a little bit more. Okay, he keeps trying to come up in. See, and I elevate, elevate, circle back to the knee, and now I can start working my way back. Once I get my knee on his stomach and center his hip, then I can start setting my pass grips, okay? To actually pass, I usually have to either get an underhook, a cross collar with a face crank, or like a club grip like this, where I pull. 
Okay, but the thing is, whenever they have you rotate it in, you can't look for those pass scripts while I'm in this position. If I'm here and I start messing around with the collar, he has too much he can do. Same thing, this is still useful if he just has a single leg grip with the lapel. This is another very common grip people will use. Uh, you can use a lot of these same ideas here. The guy wants to come up on a single leg, so if I just stiff arm this lapel down, come around this side. If he wants to come up on his elbow to single leg me here, keep coming up. It's very, very hard when I pin this. Okay, same thing with this. I can pin here, keep coming up, right? I center the knee up, dig the collar grip deep, get the face pressure first, cut the knee, lean, and now it breaks the grip, right? So, one more time in the single leg. Same idea in the single leg. I like to use this back pant grip sometimes. He tries to come up on the single leg. I elevate, center the knee in, right? Sometimes, go around this way. Another cool detail here. Sometimes if the guy tries too hard to come up into that single leg, keep coming up. When I center, I can go over this other leg and you almost end up in the mount, like this quarter mount position. And now I can club and start passing from there. All right guys, so comment, let me know if you have more questions about the position or anything that's giving you a hard time. Uh, look out, we're gonna do a few more videos here soon with uh, Espen and Tommy and Vergard as well. Uh, as always, if you guys like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps grow the channel. Thanks.